In this Inkscape tutorial, I'm going to walk through how you can take one PNG file like this and split it into three different vectors. But here's the catch. We want to have each vector be the same color as the original image. How do we do this? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is trace this bitmap. So I go to Path, I go to Trace Bitmap, and I'm going to see now some sliders over on the right-hand side. When I click Update Preview, you'll see nothing is coming up. And that's a problem because I want to trace this bitmap. It's too light. The color is not black enough. So I'm going to change the threshold now to say 60 and I'll click Update Preview. And we can see the bottom one, which is the darkest color, now pops up, but the other two are not. So now I'm going to go to 70 and we'll click Update Preview. We can see the middle one now comes up. The top one is going to be the hardest to map. I'm going to turn the threshold all the way up to 80 and we can see now all three designs are now captured in the update preview. I'll click apply and we'll see now the trace bitmap has created a vector, one vector, of the three different images. And you can tell this is a vector because over on the left hand side I click on edit paths by node and we can see all the different nodes that have come up inside this design. So how do we make three vectors now and have them match the colors because right now I just have one vector. So here's the way you do it and it's a really easy way to do it. Now there's more complicated ways to do it but this is easiest. Control C and Control V. That's copy and paste. I'm going to do that one more time. Control V to paste it. So now I've got three vectors all sitting here. I'm just going to move this one over here to the side so we can see this. And what I'm going to do first is take this one on the left. I'm going to go edit paths by node and I'm going to remove out the bottom two designs. So I've just dragged my cursor over and I've hit the delete key. Now I will click the second image right here and I will click edit paths by node. I'll drag over the first piece, click delete and I'll do the same thing down at the bottom and I'll delete that out and that gets me now the second vector. It's completely separate from the first and now I'll do the same here on the third. I'll click edit paths by node and I'll simply crop off the top two designs. That gets me now the third and final image down below. So I have three different vectors now, all black, and I need them now to match this PNG file. How do I do that? So I'm going to click on the first vector at the top and you'll see down at the bottom here there is different colors. So I could click green for example, make this green, I could click red, make it red, but how do I match this exact color? Well it's pretty easy to do. There's a little eyedropper tool right here, it's called the dropper tool. So I'm simply going to click this image and I'll click the dropper tool and then I'll click this image over here and it will simply change to whatever you click after the dropper tool. I will select the middle image, I'll select the dropper tool and then I'll select the middle image here and that will match the color exactly. And then I'll do the third one here, I'll click the eyedropper tool and I will match it to this color right here. From there I simply remove out the original PNG file so I'll click the delete key and now I'm left with three completely separate vector files that are matching the original color of the original PNG image. I hope you found this very quick walkthrough helpful. Here's another video on how you can have some fun using the wonderful and free tool known as Inkscape.